Hey, let's go back to work. Next in line is Norma from Winter Springs. Norma, you're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Yes, I have a question. Um, <clears throat> my mother-in-law died a number of years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've never been able to find a signed copy of her will. All right. Um, it, my, we wrote to the lawyer who did the will, and it was not signed. And so we went to the courthouse and checked, and it was never probated. All right. So my question is this. If somebody was named in that will that wasn't signed and they were named as an uh, executor, are they really an executor? Well, two things, Norma. Are you telling me that you found a copy of her will, but it is unsigned? Absolutely. The okay. lawyer sent it. Okay. So it is possible in certain situations to probate that will. If you can convince a judge that it was signed, you just don't have a signed copy of it. But more importantly is this, is that when you have a will, your will nominates who your executor or personal representative will be. They are not your personal representative or executor until the person has actually passed away and the court has appointed them as executor. So the will nominates them. They're not actually it until the uh, court appoints them. Does that, okay, does so, that answer your question, Norma? Well, um, the brother claims that he was executor. And there was a second, there was an, uh, his other brother was another executor, but it never went through probate and no court appointed him. Well, they're speaking wrong. They've been nominated, but they are not the executor. So are there any other issues that's going on, Norma, that I might help you with? Well, I just, I, I just was curious about that because like I said, we have never, ever found a signed will and we okay. wrote to the lawyer who did it and he sent us a copy of it, but there's not no signature. Okay. So. For, for a person to be appointed as an executor, there must actually be a probate started. And when somebody is appointed as the executor, the judge will give them what's called letters of administration. It is those letters of administration that give the person the legal authority to go out and transact business on behalf of the estate. 